Good morning. We are going to check a very interesting thing in this video. We are going to check whether the stock returns really are normally distributed or not. Whether normality is a truth or a myth. So we have taken Athens stock from that is Greek stock market ethics. Ethics we have taken from January 2003 till December 2015. So it's a 12-year Greek stock exchange we have taken. This value, what you are seeing in column A, is nothing but the closing of that stock. Then what we have calculated here, we have calculated here the daily returns. So we have calculated the daily returns in the next column. How to calculate that? Log of, you can see the formula here, log of A3 by A2. So A3 is this, A2 is this, log of A3 by A2. What is the next one? Log of A4 by A3. A4 is this divided by A3. Then what should be the next one? The next one should be A5 by A4. So let's check. Yes, it is A5 by A4. This is the way the daily returns have been calculated. Don't think data is not there. Data is there. I am scrolling it down to show you the end of the data. Data is there. 985 observations are there in total. Then we have copied this entire column and we have pasted here as values as values control v and when we paste we paste as values after pasting as values we have done a sort and filter we have filtered it once with the largest to smallest and then with the smallest to largest so right now you can see there's largest to smallest so let's finish this part the work is in two parts so as we know that one percent plus minus return is kind of normal in a developed economy. Greece is supposed to be in part of Eurozone. So it's supposed to be a developed economy. So 1% change in a trading day is normal there. Anything other than that is not normal. So what we have seen, we have kind of checked <clears throat> up to what 1% positive comes. So we have got yeah, we have got up to this. So you can see 78 observations are there, which are in abnormal positive zone. So in the abnormal positive zone is generally called right tail. So this right tail is nothing but, let me write it here. Right tail is nothing but an abnormal positive zone whereas left tail is nothing but an abnormal negative zone okay so right till we got 78 observations now we will select this part we'll go to sort and filter and we'll do the other thing smallest to largest so when we do smallest to largest again we will check up to minus one percent so these are the returns up to minus one percent how many are there 64 count is 64 so we will go back and we wrote here 64 is left tail or abnormal negative return in the negative zone after minus 1%. So what is the total tail addition of 78 and 64? If you add this to you get 142. So then the percentage tail is 142 divided by 985 because 985 is the total number of observation. So it is coming approximately around 80 sorry 14 percent so if it is 14 percent if both the tails are 14 percent then the body is 86 percent so let me draw it for you 
my drawing is not very good but i'll try to make it as good as possible so let's uh, go a little this side oh i can't do that sorry okay i'll draw it here then i'll delete it so this is supposed to be a proper normal distribution in a proper normal distribution what happens this side is two and a half percent this is the right tail so what is called right tail <coughs> and the other side this side is the negative side so what is this called left tail left tail so this right tail is supposed to be two and a half percent and the left tail is supposed to be two and a half percent so two and a half two and a half five percent so how much is the body we can all know the body is this and the body of the distribution should be 100 minus 2 and a half and 2 and a half that is equal to 95 percent so if any distribution the body is not 95 percent body is anything lower than 95 percent then obviously we can't call it as a normal distribution oh one more important point let's not call it normal distribution industry calls it gaussian distribution g a u s s pardon me for my handwriting gaussian so gauss the name as you can see there's a name gauss this Gauss, Carl Frederick Gauss, in 1761 invented this distribution. So we don't call it normal distribution, we call it Gaussian distribution. Hence on, we will be referring it as Gaussian distribution, not normal distribution. So that means anywhere this body of distribution is lower than 95%. So this 95% is very crucial. If the distribution body is not 95% lower than 95% then unfortunately we cannot call it a Gaussian distribution. So now come back to the main this thing. So here the body is 86% so can we call it Gaussian distribution? We cannot call it Gaussian distribution. So this is generally the question of fat tail. This is called as fat tail. You can also see the graph here changes so this graph is linked to this sorted index so this is for the left side of the tail because the sorting is from lowest to highest but if you sort it in the reverse direction obviously the graph will change that is largest to smallest yeah you can see the graph has changed So what we have learned in this way that the meat is bursted and normality or Gaussian distribution in stock returns is a myth. It is not possible. Stock returns usually are non-Gaussian or non-normal in nature. So don't try to find a normality in financial engineering, normality in financial analytics or normality in financial econometrics. So any data driven financial tool, if you try to search normality, unfortunately you won't be able to find it. My suggestion is you can take any stock data, any index data for a long period, maybe five years, six years, seven years and you can test this. And even for such a long period also, I don't think in most cases you won't find Gaussian distribution or normal distribution. I think you will find the similar result which is not normal. So this is the right tail, the positive abnormal return. This is the left tail, the negative abnormal return. This is the total tail, the percentage of total tail and the body. So body is lower than 95%. This means that this distribution is 
not normal thank you